Restaurants aim to create their own unique experience, but that doesn't mean each restaurant brand necessarily stands alone. A multitude of chain restaurants are actually operated by the same parent company. Some seem to match up quite well together, but others are a bit of an oddball pairing. Walking through the mall, it's pretty difficult to ignore the wafting smells of sweet cinnamon buns. Opening the first location in Seattle, Washington in 1985, Cinnabon has since gained a cult following across the U.S. and in more than 50 countries around the world. On the other end of the mall, the smell of freshly baked soft pretzels coming from Auntie Anne's is hard to ignore. And while it may seem that these two common shopping mall snack staples are competitors, they actually live harmoniously under one company. Both Cinnabon and Auntie Anne's are owned by Focus Brands after the parent company purchased Auntie Anne's in 2010. But there are certainly plenty of other popular eateries in the same family. Jamba Juice, Carvel, Schlotzky's, McAllister's Deli, and Moe's Southwest Grill all share a piece of the family pie as well. And with all of those brands in the mix, Focus Brands is one of the largest global food service brands, operating over 6,000 establishments over 50 different countries. Heading into an IHOP, whether it's for breakfast or dinner, a diner knows they can always order a short stack of pancakes. Other options such as omelets, sandwiches, and even a roasted turkey entree are on the menu as well, making IHOP one of the most diverse casual eateries out there. Another casual eatery in the neighborhood, Applebee's, has been around since 1980, serving up everything from wings and burgers to salads and seafood. And while both eateries boast a casual, come-as-you-are atmosphere, they don't have much in common other than their parent company. Applebee's and IHOP live under the same company, Dine Brands, after the investor completed the acquisition of Applebee's International Inc. in 2007. While Red Lobster has long been known for its seafood options, it may be those Cheddar Bay Biscuits that really get you going back for more. The first Red Lobster opened in 1968 as founder Bill Darden hoped to bring great seafood to everyone in a convenient, affordable way. The concept caught on, and restaurant guests have been enjoying copious amounts of seafood ever since. As guests munched on Cheddar Biscuits, the chain caught the attention of Golden Gate Capital, and the parent company purchased Red Lobster for $2.1 billion in 2014. The sale was the latest feather in the parent company's cap, adding the chain alongside California Pizza Kitchen, which it had purchased in 2011. When the first Arby's opened in 1964, it was all about serving up freshly sliced roast beef paired with delicious toppings and sides like their famous curly fries. Most people still think that Arby's only serves roast beef sandwiches. Well, if that's the case, we sure have a lot of odd-looking roast beef sandwiches. Oddly enough, Arby's ended up pairing up with Wendy's International in 2008, but it wasn't a relationship that lasted especially long. Arby's eventually split from Wendy's and was acquired by its parent company, Rourke Capital, which eventually founded Inspire Brands in 2018. Inspire Brands ended up adding another sandwich maker to their lineup, purchasing Jimmy John's in 2019. But Inspire Brands' reach certainly doesn't stop there. The parent company also owns Buffalo Wild Wings and Rusty Taco, along with Sonic, which it acquired in 2018. It's close to midnight and you have a ridiculous craving for tacos. So what do you do? Head to the Taco Bell drive-thru, of course. Taco Bell has been a ride-or-die for quick, craveable food for more than 50 years. But who knew this fast food giant was in such good company with another delicious staple? Taco Bell is just one of Yum! Brand's global companies, with Pizza Hut and KFC right by its side. And while each restaurant had its own humble beginnings, the trio came together to form Tricon Global Restaurants, or Yum! Brands, Inc. Some locations have continued to operate on their own, but it's not uncommon to see combinations of Taco Bell and Pizza Hut. Every day we get a little bit closer to the future of Demolition Man. Tim Hortons, opened in 1964, is Canada's largest restaurant chain, with a focus on coffee drinks, baked goods, and sandwiches. Home to the Whopper, Burger King was established in 1954, serving up their signature burgers and fries. But in 2014, the two beloved chains began operating under the same ownership, Restaurant Brands International. And now the company has close to 26,000 restaurants under their scope, spanning over 100 countries. But Timmy's and Burger King aren't the only brands under Restaurant Brands Brands International's purview. Popeyes, established in New Orleans in 1972, was added to the family as well. According to Nation's Restaurant News, the company purchased Popeyes in 2017 for $1.8 billion, with plans for plenty of future growth. 
Opening its doors in 1937, Krispy Kreme has been well known for serving up warm confections right off the conveyor belt or boxed up by the dozen. And perhaps that's the allure that restaurant company JAB Holding Company found in 2016 when it acquired the Krispy Kreme brand for $1.35 billion. As it turns out, though, one company devoted to baked goods just wasn't enough for JAB Holding. In 2017, the restaurant group acquired the popular soup and salad fast casual chain Panera Bread Company in a deal that closed for $7.5 billion. Panera Bread joined the other brands under JAB Holdings' umbrella, including Pete's Coffee and Tea, Caribou Coffee, and Einstein Bagels. The idea of being able to order exactly what you'd like to have on a sandwich and have it prepared right in front of you is certainly not a new concept. Quiznos has been making sandwiches that way since 1981 and adds in the welcome element of toasting your sandwich as it goes down the line. Meanwhile, Taco Del Mar offers up the same concept with a different type of cuisine. Launching in Seattle, Washington in 1992, Taco Del Mar Americanized Mexican food, offering guests the option to order at the counter. Guests were able to choose their type of meat and beans along with their toppings and sauces, watching their burrito or taco salad being made right in front of them. High Bluff Capital purchased Quiznos in 2018, but the acquisition wasn't enough for the company at the time. Taco Del Mar caught the investment company's eye just one month after the deal went through. When you think of Olive Garden, it's probably breadsticks that come to mind. You may also think about their signature salad and soups, and pasta too. And we owe our thanks to Darden Restaurants Inc. for owning and operating that favorite family dinner spot. But Olive Garden certainly isn't the only restaurant under the Darden Restaurants umbrella. Longhorn Steakhouse, known for its bold flavors with dishes from steaks and ribs to salads, was acquired by the restaurant company in 2007. Red Lobster eventually made its way to Gold Golden Gate Capital in 2014, but Darden still held on to Olive Garden and Longhorn Steakhouse. Chili's has had a long-time reputation for their giant margaritas and killer happy hour deals. The casual eatery has attracted guests since 1975, offering a great hangout spot paired with a menu boasting everything from burgers and fajitas to wings. However, it's safe to say that their most prominent claim to fame is their ribs, thanks to that earworm of a baby back ribs jingle. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, chili. I want baby back, rib. Maggiano's Little Italy, on the other hand, has developed a reputation for offering family-style Italian-American meals such as eggplant parmesan and rigatoni arrabbiata since the restaurant first opened in 1991. Just four years after Maggiano's opened, and with only four restaurants under its operation at the time, it caught the eye of Brinker International. Brinker purchased the restaurant in 1995 and would add the eatery to its operations of Chili's locations. Brinker International now operates over 1,600 restaurants that span throughout 29 countries. Baskin Robbins has been a household name in the ice cream business for decades. In 1945, when most ice cream shops were sticking to the classics like chocolate and vanilla, Irv Robbins and Burt Baskins were dreaming up ways to offer a flavor every single person would enjoy. Lo and behold, over 70 years later, Baskin Robbins is still going strong. With more than 1,300 flavors over the years, Baskin Robbins offers a flavor choice for every type of ice cream lover. Opening just five years later is Baskin Robbins delicious cousin, Dunkin' Donuts. In addition to pastries, the brand serves hot breakfast sandwiches and a wide variety of coffee drinks, and has been doing so since 1950. The two live under the same Dunkin' Brands company name and reach customers through their more than 20,000 locations spanning 60 countries. Some stores stand on their own, while many are co-branded, offering a one-stop shop for donuts, coffee, and ice cream. Think about Outback Steakhouse and what first comes to mind. For many, it's their signature dish, the Bloomin' Onion, paired with their Aussie-inspired entrees such as grilled chicken or steak. It's a spot to go for a variety of menu items with great portion sizes and a casual atmosphere. And for Outback's parent company, Bloomin' Brands, that is exactly the dining experience they aimed to create when four friends came together to open a restaurant in the 80s. Aptly named Bloomin' Brands opened their first restaurant, Outback Steakhouse, in Florida in 1988. Now the company boasts over 1,450 various restaurants worldwide as Bloomin' Brands continue to introduce new and unique concepts over the years. Outback Steakhouse. It's not too late, they got that Bloomin' Onion. Don't spice things up a little bit, huh? 
Bonefish Grill was eventually added to their portfolio as Bloomin' Brands aimed to bring a fresh seafood experience to the dining scene. But those weren't the only two restaurants that the original group of friends launched. The Bloomin' Brands company also owns and operates Caraba's Italian Grill, Fleming's, and Aussie Grill, a fast food spin-off of Outback Steakhouse. For decades, ice cream fans have flocked to Dairy Queen for their frozen treats like the dipped cones and the signature Dilly Bar and Blizzard. The franchise devoted to quick-service food with ice cream for dessert has been prominent in the lives of countless families since the first store opened in 1940. In 1926, Orange Julius developed its signature recipe as Julius Fried and Bill Hamlin worked to find a solution to making blended orange juice less acidic. The company skyrocketed as Orange Julius launched a variety of easily accessible fruit smoothies, spinning off of the original orange smoothie to include flavors like berry pomegranate and strawberry banana along the way. As both companies grew, Dairy Queen took note of Orange Julius and purchased the brand in 1987. At the time, Orange Julius became a subsidiary of International Dairy Queen, but many of their locations continued to operate on their own. Now it's common to see the two treat shops under the same roof. What exactly do a burrito joint and a children's entertainment hotspot have in common? Not a whole lot, except that they happen to be part of the same big happy family. Established in 1977, Chuck E. Cheese was the brainchild of Nolan Bushnell, who co-founded Atari. The pizza joint turned into a family-friendly spot for eats, games, and plenty of birthday parties over the years. In 2014, Apollo Global Management decided it needed a slice of the pie, purchasing the chain for $950 million. Not quite as old as its surprising cousin, Qdoba launched under the name Zuma Fresh Mexican Grill in 1995, only to later be renamed to Qdoba Mexican Grill in 1999. In 2003, Jack in the Box purchased Qdoba, but the relationship didn't work out, leading Apollo to step in and purchase the chain for $305 million in 2018. Oddly enough, the two restaurant chains aren't in good company with any other restaurant brands, but Apollo's portfolio does include major companies such as gourmet supermarket chain The Fresh Market, along with ADT Security Services. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mashed videos about your favorite fast food franchises are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!